This is Darkland with a letter from America. Roll up. They got everything you need. Roll up for the mystery tour. Roll up. Satisfaction guaranteed. Roll up for the mystery tour. The magical mystery tour is hoping to take you away. Hoping to take you away. I know this was written by John Lennon in reference to a mystery bus tour that used to take place in England. But it always related to the mystery van of the Scooby-Doo cartoon fame. However, with recent events, this can now only remind me of the mysterious black bus built for Obama. In this regard, the bus allows him to visit various locations around the country and, through the guise of spreading the word on John Creation, to campaign for his next run for the presidency. President Obama claims it is for use for spreading the word about plans to create jobs. A quick look at this by any high school student, even an inner city one, and this is noticeably a thin veil of a lie to spend tax money on a more personal level. First, the cost. On one hand, for the bus. The bus itself, maintenance, fuel, security, route control, site setup, site control, and much, much more. On the other hand, internet and broadcast. Site setup, site operations, with security and broadcast capability support. Second, the audience, the internet and broadcast. Everyone that owns or can view the internet or broadcast can listen to what the president has to say. The bus, those that have time, the ability to travel, the position to view, and the money to do so, and only those can listen to the president. Third, the message, the internet and broadcast. Everybody gets the same message and everybody's treated equally. The bus, tailored message on how that particular audience is the most important audience. Fourth, the psychology, the internet and broadcast, detached and non-personal. The bus, always a face-to-face -face meeting is better for effect and the awe of meeting somebody, holding such a high office, will disperse through stories by personal experiences from those that were there, which makes the meeting more memorable than the message itself. With these four items in mind, what would one choose to keep on us and reach the most people with a single message on a state of job creation? And which option would one choose to reach people to create an experience that would be beneficial to their own campaign for election? On top of that, many of these very people in which are looking for jobs to be created are those without jobs. Those of them that want to work are eager to hear the plans to better lives and will be able to watch their paychecks pass by their town in a form of a bus with all the bells and whistles that only a rich man or a government leader can afford. In the words of Rafi, the wheels on the bus go round and round all through the <laughs> country so he can get re-elected with bulletproof windows and at taxpayers' expense, of which was paid to the Canadians and not Americans with American jobs. This has been a letter from America, over and out. Now you see that evil will always triumph because good is dumb.